Never bench by yourself. But sometimes you don't have a choice. So if you are going to bench by yourself, what type of factors do you need to take into account? Number one, there's safety. The bench press is the most dangerous lift that we perform in the weight room. It's the only one where rather important structures such as your face and your neck have the opportunity to become trapped between a heavy object, the barbell, and an immovable object, the bench. So we're gonna take safety into account. Factor number two, it's inconvenient to unrack a heavy bench by yourself. It's much more handy to have a spotter. So if you don't have a spotter, how do you handle that situation? We're gonna talk about both of those today. One of the first things that you want to consider, probably the first thing that you want to take a look at, is you want to make sure that you have your safeties, or your, your pins, or your crash bars, whatever you want to call them. You want to make sure that they are low enough that when you are bench pressing, and you've got your arch set, that they're low enough that you touch your chest with the bar, and that the bar does not actually hit the pins. On the other hand, equally as important, probably more important actually, they have to be high enough so that if you miss a rep, if you can't lock it out, that you can collapse your arch, you can relax everything, set it on the pins, and still get out from underneath that bar. This is extremely important, potentially life-savingly important. Okay, let's take a look at that. Here I'm performing a few reps just to make sure that the pins are low enough that I won't run into them while benching. After a couple reps, I collapse my arch, I set the bar down on the pins and I roll it back over my face to make sure that I'm safe. Meanwhile, Milo walks by in the background with a pen or a pencil that he shouldn't have. Additionally, another safety note, don't collar the bar when you bench press. The other thing that's gonna come into play is that it's difficult, it can be difficult, getting a heavy weight out of the rack. If you're used to benching with a spotter, and hopefully uh, you've been blessed enough to bench with a spotter your entire life, then you may notice that it's difficult. You don't have someone to help you with the handoff, the liftoff to get it from in the hooks to that position over your shoulders. There's a distance, there's a moment arm that you've got to handle there. Let's talk about how to handle that when you're benching by yourself. Okay, so now we've got some weight on the bar. The key to handling that moment arm, when I say moment arm, I'm talking about the distance from, well, let's take a look at this. The distance from where my shoulder is, you can see this hopefully, where my shoulder is, to compared to where the bar is right now. There's a gap there, maybe it's two, three, four inches. And the key, the key is to make your body handle that distance and not leave the job entirely on your shoulders, okay? So, here we go. Watching this in slow motion here, the process is elbows out and back a little bit, bridge the hips up off the bench so that you can use the leverage provided by the rest of your body to unrack the bar. Make sure the hips come back down to the bench before you actually start pressing the bar, of course. Again, this one's in slow motion. Let's see what it looks like from the side with an empty bar. Elbows go out and back slightly, hips up, unrack the bar with straight elbows and hips back down to the bench before you start pressing. Again, elbows, hips, unrack, and hips back down to the bench. There you go. Hope it helps.